Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're over at East Lawrence High School now talking to Principal Eddie Morris. Eddie, thanks for welcoming us out and letting us have a look around the school. Sure does look good. Yeah, I appreciate y'all coming out. I appreciate what TV 35 does for, for the community and, and especially for East Lawrence High School. Y'all y'all always been supportive and I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Well, you've been here five years now? Five years and it uh, seems like yesterday, uh -huh. but, uh, but we've come a long way in, in five years. The, yeah. the, the school culture has changed and, uh, you know, we're excited about the kids and and, you know, some are sort of a downtime, and I'm ready for kids to come back. I'm ready for the students to be here in school. You welcome them with open arms. I welcome them. Uh, we, one of the things that we want to do when I, I become the principal is we want to be a student-centered high school. It, it's all about our students. And, uh, you know, a lot of times high school is about adults and, and things like that. But I really want yeah. our school to be about the students. And, and whatever the students need, whatever they want to do, we want to make sure we provide that for them here at East Lawrence High School. And, and we've had fun doing that for five years, and I hope for five more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's been such good accomplishments, not just uh, in sports, but academics. Academically, we, uh, we're offering uh, probably more AP classes than, um, than most schools our size because mm -hmm. I, we feel like our kids deserve the best. And, mm -hmm. and this year we've got a partnership with uh, uh, Georgia Military where they're going to come in and offer classes here on our campus. And, and we're excited about that. That's an opportunity for our kids to, to be, you know, have dual enrollment and get an early start on, on college. And, and so it's, it's a good partnership, and I think our kids are going to benefit from that. Oh, greatly. Um, and they're coming here to you. They're coming to the school, and, and we're just excited about that. Um, yeah. Ms. Smith that has come in, and she's really promoted. And, you know, some of our kids go to the Dublin Center, and, and that's fine. That was That's a great opportunity for them. And right. uh, some of our kids do enroll at Heart of Georgia. So we, we've got a partnership with all the, the upper-level schools here in, in GMC's come in. Yeah. It's just been a it's been a blessing for us. That is wonderful, Eddie. It, it really is. So you have about 600 students. About 600 kids uh, this year. Um, we're excited because we have uh, our CTA classes are, are real strong. Our our teachers do a, a, a great job of promoting uh, that part of our school, and we have three state officers this year. So, uh, you know, you, you're a little bitty school in South Georgia, but but our kids are making some noise up in Atlanta, and, and they've been to nationals this year. And so a lot of great things are happening at East Lawrence High School, and mm -hmm. it's, it's really a, a the thing that contributes to that is our teachers are, are student focused. I mean, they want the best for the kids here, and, and they really push our kids to, to mm -hmm. just get out of get out of these four walls and, and make some noise out in the state. And, and athletics is great, and academics is great, but but mm -hmm. we we do a lot of things with our uh, CTA classes that that we're proud of. And and what's that abbreviation for? The it's, it's the career classes, uh, technology, mm -hmm. engineering. Mm -hmm. um, Dean Cutler has the Skills USA. Our FBLA with Dr. Zanders and and Dr. Morrison. Uh, they're just pushing our kids to, to be the best, and we've had kids, you know, all over the nation this this summer, you know, going to state conventions and, mm -hmm. and experiencing it, it, it's experiencing stuff that that they could never do here, and and, and and it's making our community proud. They're East Lawrence students, but they're representing our community in the state and in the mm -hmm. national level, and so it's, we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of lot of great things going on here. You know, I was uh, very impressed last year, Eddie. Whenever I looked at the percentage of honor roll students that graduated, honors students right. that graduated last year from East Lawrence. The percentage just seemed to be even higher than any other school in the area. Right. We, well, and, and we push that. We, when they come in the ninth grade, we explain to them how important it is to, to be an honor graduate and to keep your grades up. And, yeah. and, and we did that while increasing the rigor here at East Lawrence High School. You know, the, these kids were taking AP classes and, and college classes, and so it wasn't, it wasn't that we made the classes easier right. so they could be honor graduates. Sure. We really made it harder, mm -hmm. and, and our kids stepped up, and mm -hmm. it was a, it, that was a great class uh, last year. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you'll see some of those kids come back into this community and do a lot of great things. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had two or three of them that, that are, you know, want to be doctors, and and our Val and Sal, are, are, you know, got accepted at Mercer, and, and yeah. they're really excited about those things. And Wonderful. I think you'll see a lot come back. And they set mm -hmm. a they set a standard. You know, uh, we told the juniors coming up, our seniors set a standard for you, and, and that's the standard that we'll go by. And, and it's a challenge, and they welcome that challenge. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. That's that's the way to do it. You have to keep raising the bar. We don't you, Eddie? can continue to raise the bar, and our mm -hmm. expectations are higher. And and uh, you know our, our kids, we have some just some of the best kids in uh, in the county. They mm -hmm. they come to school and and they want to learn. The behavior is not an issue. They mm -hmm. yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, and, and it's fun to come to school. It's yeah. it's really exciting. And uh, uh, they people are you ready for summer? Well, 
the only thing we do at summer is get school ready for the next year. <laughs> and uh, we've done a lot this summer to get ready. And you can yeah. see as you come through, the yeah. we're ready for kids. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, such a clean, neat school. Uh, if, if you were possibly moving into the area or looking for an opportunity, uh, East Lawrence is a wonderful opportunity right. for and, you. Right, and for the first time since I've been here, we've had some people call, and I want to come visit your school. I'm moving in, and, and I've, I've heard some things about East Lawrence High School, and, mm -hmm. and so I've got some appointments with some different parents to come in and, and to show them around the school. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I told you before we started this, I can talk about East Lawrence High School, <laughs> and so I don't mind bringing them in and, right. and telling them exactly what's going right. on here. And uh, So it, it's just a lot of good things happening. All right, but you have help. Is it, do you have the same assistant principals as you've had in the past, the same office staff? We do, the same staff. Uh, one of our uh, registrars, uh, Ms. O'Neill, she finished her education degree, and so she's, she's teaching now, but, yeah. but we brought in a, a new registrar. But uh, Ms. Daly, our counselor, is still here. Mm -hmm. Mr. Williams and Mr. Watson both are still here. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so we, we've kept the nucleus, and I think that's, that's something that's helped, too. Right. You know, we, we know what we're what's expected every year mm -hmm. and uh and we just try to get better every yeah. year yeah what a good team it, yeah. it just seems you all work so well together right yeah and you know uh miss daly's been here a long time coach williams been here a long time yeah uh mr watson i don't think he's ever left <laughs> you know he, <laughs> uh, he he and i sort of was raised up through here so <laughs> pretty good. you know i tell people we have a vested interest in here mm -hmm. uh you know last year coach williams daughter was a senior and graduated and this year yeah. Mr. Watson, his daughter is a senior, so uh -huh. and my son's in the tenth grade here, so I'm vested. You know, I want the best for this, for personal reasons. Sure. But but for our, you know, for all our kids on the east side of the river, because this yeah. this is my family. You know, right. your family. This is right. where we where we right. come from. And that's uh, right. You know, so I, I just tell people I'm vested in this community. I'm vested mm -hmm. in this school, and mm -hmm. I want I, nothing but the best for our kids. That's that's what I want every every day I come to work. Yeah. All right. So you're looking out across the community. How can the community help you? How can parents help in getting involved with school? Well, we do a lot of things here with our parents. We have parent nights. We, you know, we invite parents to come in different times. And, um, you know, this year I would love to have our parents just to just come in and visit at any time. We, we want this to be a community school, sort of like when, when we was coming up. You know, mm -hmm. our parents were welcome here. And, and at the first meeting, I tell all our parents, you know, there's a myth that you're not welcome in high school, but that just comes from the students. <laughs> the teachers want you here and the administrators, That's good. your 15 year old don't want you right. here. But, but we would love for the parents to come out. Uh, we had our school council meeting today and uh, met with the, some business people in the community and, uh -huh. and you know, just welcome them to come in and uh, mm -hmm. another set of eyes. Just come in and say, you know, what can I do to help you? And, and we welcome Wonderful. all that um, in, our, in, in this area, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's exciting to me to come to work some mornings and I see people out here walking on our tracks, yeah. you know, the, the community using them and right. uh, and that's what we want to be. We want to be a community friendly school where, mm -hmm. where they feel welcome when they come. And well, it certainly does look good. The grounds look good. The facilities are wonderful. It's, it's just superior bar none. Right. And, uh, and we just want to get better. You know, okay, you have open house coming up. We do have open house. It'll be from three to six, and uh, we're doing some little things different this year. Our kids will actually have their schedule on computer. They can pull it up and look at it, but they can come out, and we'll have something for the uh, ninth grade, you know, the new kids coming up. Our mm -hmm. ambassadors will be here and showing their parents around, and mm -hmm. I'll have a parent meeting with them at the at the beginning of, of school and mm -hmm. just let the ninth grade. You know, they, they've come up through here, but sure. they've, they've never been here. They've sort of coming from the eighth grade and now they're coming back down to the to being the little kids and so we'll we'll bring them in and, and get them acclimated with what's going on but it's it's really friendly uh place to be and our ambassadors you know they're they're some of the cream of the crop here in our school and they, they'll walk around and show mm -hmm. them and just make them feel comfortable and welcome you yeah. know welcome them here yeah Eddie, over the years i'm sure you learned some things about uh, being an administrator about how to deal with uh, you know young people but what would you express to people that you really have have you know taken to heart about educating young people what it takes to reach them yeah well w one of the things that I'm, I'm i'm passionate about is i want to be their parent here you know so many times kids come to school and uh you know my son has an advocate you know i'm going to be his advocate but so many times our kids come to school and and their parents are expecting the, us to treat them like we would ours, and that's that's what I want to do with mm. with all the kids, regardless of, of race, regardless of, of financial situation, stuff like that shouldn't matter. I want the best for every kid that comes to this school, and yeah. and uh, I, I, that's sort of a passion of mine. And um, 
you know, I, I say this every year, and uh, Jesus said, suffer the little children, come to me, forbid them not. For that's the kingdom, you know, that, that's his kingdom. That's, that's what his kingdom will be. And so I get to work in that every day, and I, I don't take that lightly. I, I love these kids, and, uh, you know, they're teenagers. Mm-hmm. You know, and I know that. I, I told the school council today, when I get up every morning and get ready, I know I'm coming to 600 teenagers, <laughs> and I'm excited about that. Yeah. You know, and, and they're, they're just a bunch of, of great kids. But I've had some good role models. Um, you know, George Knight uh, was my teacher. And then he was my administrator, and he was, he was uh, he's always been my friend. And so I, I look, I, I got a lot of uh, the leadership qualities from him. And, and then Mr. Kite, you know, he's, uh, Hugh Kite, he's, he's been, a, uh, been a mentor to tell me when I've done things wrong. And that's, you know, a lot of times you don't, you don't get right. that in a, in a true friend. That's right. They always want to tell you everything you're doing right, but, mm-hmm. but I can always count on him to, to, to lead me in, in the right way. And so he's been, he's been an inspiration uh, for Good. me. And, and uh, you know, I, I sort of set a high bar for myself. I, I'm, never I yeah. never, I'm never satisfied. I'm never satisfied. And, you know, that's, that's what I tell our teachers and, and that's what I tell our students. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's sort of what we go by here. Yeah. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Thank you. I appreciate you. it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I welcome the community to come out to Open House. Uh, please come, uh, see what's going on here. And, and if you ever have a problem or if there's any issues, please see me. All right. Once again, Eddie Morris. Thank you. Appreciate you.